Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this set of videos, we were working on different labs that you should be doing for AZ-104, Microsoft Azure Administrator exam. These labs are available on the GitHub from Microsoft Learning. And in this series of lab, we started working on Lab 9A, Implement Web Apps. In the last two videos, we completed uh, the first two tasks where we deployed uh, the Azure Web App. And in the last video, we created a staging area. In this video, we are going to configure the web app deployment setting. So let's get to the task. So here, on the staging deployment slot base, so let's go to our environment that we already have. And so let's just go back to the home, go to app services. There should be only one app that we have configured. and for this particular app, we added a deployment slot, and now I should have two different deployment slots, one that got created uh, when we first deployed the app, that's the production environment, and this is the staging slot that we created in the last video, and this URL is different from the production URL. So that's where we are. So on the staging deployment slot, in the deployment bit, click deployment center so let's see so here's the deployment section quick start deployment slot and deployment center so let's go there and make sure you are on the staging slot blit and we know that we are with at the staging slot so I'm good uh, in the continuous development section select local gate and click continue so let's see CICD section I'm gonna configure the local git okay and then I'm just making sure that we are at the staging slot so right there you can also verify this that you are, are you are on the staging slot and we're gonna use the local git so I have already selected that one and then I'm gonna hit continue okay select app service build service click continue so app service build service this is the one we want and then again hit continue select app service build service we have done this and then you just need to click finish so just review what you have source control using a repository branch your local git repository url will be generated upon completion and we're gonna get a master branch and uh, build provider app service build service is gonna provide uh, that service for us so hit finish and again just like any other deployment the notification for the status of your deployment will show up under the notification bar and it says successfully set up deployment although it still says some stuff here uh, let's go back to the lab copy the resulting git clone url to notepad you will need the git clone url value in the next task for the lab so let's wait for a second git clone url is right here so let's uh, copy this one and save it in our notepad and this is still saying fetching data i'm just gonna click refresh one more time see if we have anything new uh, there's nothing new, but the lab doesn't say to wait here anymore, so I'm not gonna wait. Click deployment credentials toolbar icon to display deployment credential plane. So deployment credential is right over here. So if you click on that one, this is giving you the deployment credential pane that window. Okay. Uh, so what we will do? Click user credentials. Okay. So user credentials is what. Uh, we have clicked on right now and we're gonna use any unique name uh, so let's try our student and see if that works and Microsoft usually uses capital so I'm gonna use that one and for password let's use our very secure password I'm gonna delete this web app as soon as the lab is done so don't worry Okay, so the specific password does not meet the minimum requirements. Uh -oh. So I have to use a more secure password here. Let's try. Okay. Is 
it still does not should be at least and must contain eight capital letter numbers and symbols i think i had all of that so let's try it one more time from here okay deployment center not deployment center Okay, it got lost for a second so let's go back uh, go to deployment credential and deployment credential plane so I need to go to deployment credential deployment credential and need to go to user credential so I'm gonna try something one more time still says something weird that I don't understand okay let's get uh, password generator strong random password generator so I want symbol I want to include everything generate password let's use that one as well so let's use this uh, do I have numbers? Include symbols. Regenerate. Let's use that one. Okay. So now if Microsoft says that I don't have everything, I'll be very, very mad. So I do not know why it's saying so. The password should be at least eight characters long and must contain capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. So I have capital letters, lowercase letters, letters, numbers, and symbols. I have everything. And still, Microsoft is complaining. So that is. And it's not going to let me save my password over here. I've never seen this problem so I do not know what to say so give me one second let me pause the video and let me troubleshoot and not waste your time give me one second okay I'm back to the lab I don't know what was going on with the password I'm using a much simpler password this time a much smaller length but now it's taking so I'm gonna write down username student at most common so that's my password hint by the way that's not what you should be using all right so now we can save credentials to go back to the lab okay so we have done uh, okay there they were actually asking us to use this password okay anyway so so what we have done in this lab um, Oh, so that name is now taken by a pre somebody else. So <laughs> we're, I'm glad that we're not we're noticing this problem. So that name is not unique. So let's add something else to the to the name. Maybe student, and then let's put the app name. Student easy, and then the whole thing. Let's try to save the credential and see if that. somebody else taking up that name as well can you believe that okay let's try this that one also taken up by someone okay let's try a b at the end and finally i have a successful <laughs> username that i can use for deploying this application excellent so let's update our user id so password is still good but this is the user id we are, we're going to use okay sorry that this lab took unusually long 
and for whatever reason we had problem with the password uh, validation feature of your app services but finally we were able to configure web app deployment settings we have uh, verified and assigned the local gate for the deployment and we have copied the git clone url we have created a new username and associated the password uh, who can use this service okay in the next video we will we'll deploy code to the staging de 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 deployment slot so i hope to see you there if you like this video again subscribe give me a like and share with friends good luck with the exam thank you